Del Beldinga. Dedicated to anyone who reads this or who relates. Dale Bell Dingo was a mutated chicken. Well, more than a chicken. Dingo was a was mutated to become a raccoon chicken toaster raccoon slash chicken slash toaster slash TV. Dale Bell Dingo grew in a abnormal pace because he had to grow as part chicken and part raccoon. But when he got to four foot nine, he stopped growing. Why is he so crazy looking? Well, why you ask? Nobody knows. He's a crazy looking mutated animal on the planet of humans and creatures. Dingo has a job. He works there every day. He works at PSE in West Seattle, Washington. Dingo doesn't have a car, so every day he rides a tiny scooter, scooter to work. Occasionally, about once a week, he rides a vacuum and screams like a savage tar crazy Tarzan. Uh-huh. When Dingo shops at the store and goes out in public, people point at him and whisper, What the heck is he? He just keeps walking, minding his business. One day at work, he asked all his co-workers if, if they were his friend. They all said no! Dingo was furious, but also sad. He went back in home on setting five, zipping through the city all the way home. Dingo's door busts down with a crack and he paced, and he paced, Paste in with steam coming out of his ears. He slouched down on his couch, slapping his video game console. Console. Dingo started to play poking at the joysticks. He ordered a fajita from the local fajita deli, shredding feathers and growling while his toaster belly kept popping as he started to boil. And a few seconds later, the video game um um broke out in fire and the house started to rumble like crazy he he screamed and zoomed out of the house flipping his letter like a madman he started bacocking and hissing his way out of the fire the fajita he ordered was thrown at him while the fajita man said deliver here and the fajita threw him back directly on top of the console <laughs> he yelled as the fire burned the ceiling was falling and the walls were tipping. It was smoking a lot. The machine sparked all over and burst through the ceiling. Oh my gosh! And the screen just flew into outer space. Dingo flew through the stars, gazing upon them. He was still screaming his lungs out by this, but by this point, he didn't even know he was doing it. Dingo started to think of all the things he could see in space, his mind drifting off from that he was flying in space on a flaming video game console. When he started to wonder, there must be something missing. It popped into his head, and he knew, there's no way! Dingo grabbed his throat and rolled around like he was dying. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. He felt stupid. He literally was breathing in and out over and over right before he freaked out. He slapped himself in the face. Then he noticed something. While he was freaking out, the console had lost control and was spinning, flying right toward the moon. Dingo tried to stop the box but kept flying to right towards the moon. He, he screamed, Yeah! 
Dingo slammed in the front, making it fly across the galaxy out of place. Dingo felt loopy from the swim, but the space game console was still bouncing off meteors through space. Skipping and spinning in stars, he was starting to feel unconscious. Sutton Dingo suddenly fell asleep. Out in space, a light year away. A man sitting at, the, at his at a desk, watching his moon and galaxy, being messed up by a mutated chicken slash raccoon slash toaster slash TV. Angered from that mishap, he jumped into a space pod and went zooming over there. This guy was the ISE, Intergalactic Space Exterminator. Ooh. Dingo was woken up by a honk. He looked up and noticed a shiny metal pod careening at him. Dingo tried to speed up. Are you trying to kill me? Dingo exclaimed. The, uh, the ISC responded. Yup. Dingo tried to, tried to kick and blow to go faster, but nothing happened. The evil space exterminator charged full speed ahead at Dingo, making Dingo scream. Then Dingo screamed once again. Bam! Out of, bam! Out of nowhere, a meteor, a meteor rams into the ISC spacebar, causing the rules control and smashing into Dingo. I want to go home! He yelled while flaming down and crash landing on a strange planet. Dingo rolled off his flaming game box and lied on the ground. Completely speechless. He was absolutely paralyzed. Quickly, he rolled away from the game box and rolled back. Looking for a way to destroy the box, he stomped on it. <coughs> ah, ah. He kicked him and buried it and walked away. When he, when he noticed the shadows on the other side of the dust from the crash, he went to investigate. What the heck, a triple decker? said one of the creatures as he worked out of the storm, dust storm. How in the, said one of them, this was the planet of the dingoes. How did you get here? How'd you get here? Dingo asked loudly. Same way as you. A very stupid way. But still, same way. Said one of them. Yup, said one. He turned around to see who he was. It was himself, maybe? Dingo couldn't tell whether it was a mere slash trick or real. Hello, Dilby Dingo. I am Matt the Moose Farmer, aka Daddy. Shocked. Dingo froze. Wait, wait, wait. That's not possible. I'm you, I don't have parents, Dingo. Not the Moose Farmer explained how he was his raccoon dad, who got mutated, and how he got away. They all took Dingo to see his mother and sister, Pate A. He learned a lot of things that he never had a, had a thought about before. Meanwhile, the planet was slowly cracking and breaking in half. Dingo and his new family were having fun and playing fighting. Dingo was laughing until he heard something. Went the sound, uh, and the ground started to crack and bend. Everyone was freaking out, running. Dingo remembered his only way out. He ran toward the dust storm, jumping over fallen trees and rubble. He f then flying down to the place where he buried the game box. Everyone, go to the dust storm. I have a, I have a way to escape. He cocked out as he smoothly and quickly undug the game box. When they arrived in dust storm, Dingo set it up and ready to play. Dingo had everyone stack up on top of each other, on top of the video game console. Dad was on top, Pete was in the middle, and the others were below. And Dingo was at the bottom. Suddenly, they took off on the sky and flying in the electronic box. Believed that his plan had worked, he sighed, phew, and kept riding back home towards Earth. Wham!
I can see it from this pod right in the dingo and his friends launching them into the, sun, into the edge of the universe. They are most likely doomed because they were heading into the current of the universe alive. The current of the universe alive was a death trap, despite its name, because of the way it sucked anything down in it down into a void of doom. Altogether, they screamed, Yeah! What the heck? All of the crazy looking dingo like animals were freaking out and shaking the stack, making them all fall into the water. Holding on to each other's hands, they made a chain together to try not get some of the car. Laughing like madmen, the ISC pushed them down with his fiery blowers and jets, just making it worse. Something st starting rising from the shadows. It was! It was! They didn't know. Oh, come on, do we really need another problem? Dingo and Petty shouted to the sun with the tank being known as Where Jacho flew out of the water. She was huge. She screamed, You are unnatural. Be gone. As she pushed beams of wind and light, pushing them down the current even more. Lair J. Troll explained that they were unnatural and had no use or purpose in the galaxy. She said that they were a scam and a wild, and a wild accident with these two people pushing loads of fire and light. Dingo, um, Dingo knew that they were all great and useful in every way and they were, weren't useless. Dingo exclaimed to everyone in a huge voice, We're totally awesome anyway! As an Lair J. Troll threw a media at them. With all the Dingo's family anger overheating the game box, they shot into the stars, knocking the meteor back at Lair J. Troll. As they flew, he snatched the ISC's toupee and went down to Earth. It was a weird toupee. When they got there, they all decided to be what they wanted and have fun with a bunch of awesome gray people and crazy-looking mutated animals. <laughs> yeah.